Some call it a fight between David and Goliath, the Anna Louise Inn versus a corporate giant, Western and Southern Financial Group. Western and Southern Financial wants to stop a major renovation project at the downtown inn, hoping to one day take over the land for commercial use. Nine News reporter Janelle Walton live downtown at the courthouse with the next chapter in this story. Janelle? Clyde Western and Southern is asking a judge to stop the renovations at the Anna Louise Inn in downtown Cincinnati, and a judge is expected to rule on that lawsuit tomorrow. But a group of religious leaders are planning to gather here on the courthouse steps tomorrow morning to pray in support of the Anna Louise Inn. I'm glad now this is all Pat Hampton has worked at the Anna Louise Inn for two years, cleaning rooms for the residents. She has an even closer connection after her mom moved there to get a fresh start in life. I know if I didn't have to stay, I'd be right down here. The Anna Louise Inn is looking for a fresh start itself. The inn offers transitional and permanent low-cost living space for women who have lost their homes or who are looking to leave a life on the streets. Maybe Construction crews spent the day reviewing the $12 million renovation project Union Bethel, the parent company of Anna Louise, had hoped to start this summer. We were hoping to have been already started on the project by now, so we're delayed in that process, but we anticipate to continue here shortly. and. Uh, we won't make up all the time, but we're going to make up some of it. If Western and Southern Financial Group has its way, the renovation project will never get off the ground. The group has tried in the past to purchase the land on Lytle Street, adjacent from the Taft Museum. Several religious leaders believe Western and Southern is playing bully by trying to stop the inn's efforts for their own economic gain. We have to say, this is, this is not right. This isn't good for, this isn't good for, this, for Cincinnati. This isn't good for anyone involved in this. And, and truly, uh, people of faith are concerned, not just about the Anna Louise Inn, but, but about the soul of the city. And Western and Southern did send a statement about this issue late this afternoon. And the company is saying that they are supporting a win-win outcome for both of the parties involved by saying that they believe that the Anna Louise Inn could build a new facility that would be a lot cheaper to the taxpayers. And in exchange, the city would get a great area down there along Lytle Park to actually continue with more developments. Now, that prayer vigil is going to take place here at the Hamilton County Courthouse at 9.30 tomorrow morning and the judge is expected to announce his decision about that lawsuit at 11 o'clock. Clyde. Janelle Walton reporting live downtown. Another local organization.